and welcome back to another weekend reading vlog. I'm so excited to be vlogging today because I'm off out to go and do some book shopping or like book browsing, probably shopping as well. If I do buy stuff, I'll include a haul in this video. But I'm so excited to be vlogging this weekend because it's gonna be a cute fun time. I'm about to head out now to go book shopping, so that'll be really fun. But also this weekend, I really wanna focus on just reading things that are fun because this last like couple of weeks, I've been reading things. I haven't been in a reading slump. But I've been reading things just for like duty instead of for fun. I've been reading things for work and I've been reading things for challenges and for book clubs and haven't really been enjoying anything I've been reading. And so this weekend, I'm gonna focus on just reading things for fun again. And also kind of trying to knock a few things off my list because I think I'm currently reading like six books or something and it's too much. Like. I am going to try and knock a few things off the list. I did manage to finally finish this book last night, which is the book club book for um, for this month, for the Reading Around the World uh, book club. It's Reading the Ceiling. We did this book for Gambia and it was fine. This is all the books we've done for the book club. I just leave them in a stack. It was fine, but it was like a three star read and everything I've been reading lately has been like a three star read. So I'm using this weekend as a refresh, as a re revitalization of my reading. And primarily, honestly, primarily, I want to be reading this book, None of the Ninth. I did actually start this last night. I read the first bit and I already was like, this is what I've been missing. I need something that is fun, that I'm like pretty guaranteed is going to be a five star read. So I cannot wait to get home already tonight and jump back into this book because I'm obsessed with it already and I love Nonna. This is the third book in the Locked Tomb trilogy. Firstly being um, Gideon the Ninth and then being Harry the Ninth, both of which were five star reads for me. Gideon I've moved up five star like in retrospect at the time. I think I gave it like four and a half. Um, Harry was an easy five and then I'm thinking this is going to be another five and this is exactly what I need. But what I need now is to go and meet up with Bex and Tasman and we're going to have such a cute book shopping day today. We're going to go to East London and walk around Shoreditch and I'll bring you along with me and it's going to be a lovely little day. But we need to get on the bus and go, so let's head off. I'm here with Bex and Tasman. <laughs> we are in... Oh my god, I love it! Yeah. We're in the very, very busy Spitalfields market. We were gonna get Humble Crumble, but the queue is just too insane. But it wasn't well executed. And then in the end- Oh, printed funky. Yeah. What's going on there? <laughs> no, like, you have to tell the truth. Oh, like little boxes. in the first one so yeah i didn't can i bitch yeah i've never felt comfortable in li library i don't know how Honestly. to pronounce it they the soft it's make, a bit judgy feel so yeah shit don't like that none of us bought anything in there so let's see if we're gonna get some more luck in this one <laughs> i've never actually been in here i don't think because i think never. every time only one I really love the cover in person. I haven't actually seen it in person. And I want to read this, but I think I might need to. <laughs> really? It's like I've read the same bit. Bookshop number three of the day. We're going strong. <laughs> and we haven't bought anything. That's cute. That's cute. We're, we're cute. just chatting. We've just spent hours chatting about books. Well, no, I bought a postcard. Oh, yeah. I bought yeah. a card, but that's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> cute little cubby. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me you see on the marketing <laughs> campaign for these books specifically. Yes, yes. Every time I do a TikTok about these, people are like, oh my god, I'm going to read them. And I'm like, you should. Yes, you should, you should. So I'm buying another copy for me because I've read it so many times that it's like falling apart already. And then a copy for uh, Bex and Lydia as well. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> Smelt me on the 
YouTube and was like, that smells like Tasman, turned around and Hello everyone, I have completely forgotten to vlog today, completely, um, oh Lisa, where are you running off to? Anyway, I've just actually been working all day, even though it's a delightful Sunday, I've been doing work all day, but it's fine, I don't have a normal schedule, so I can take Monday off instead of having a Sunday off, but it's around 6.30 now and I'm finally going to sit down and play some Stardew Valley. And then later on, I'm going to read None of the Ninth, and I'm so excited. I've been absolutely loving it. I'm about a page, I think I'm 100 pages in. I have been loving Nana so much. I love her as a character. I'm confused, of course. Of course I'm confused. It's a Terms and Mere book. It's a Lock Tomb book. Of course I'm like completely, utterly confused. But I'm loving how I'm being confused. Um, and I'd say so far it's like less confusing uh than the second one harrow i think it's gonna get weirder but it's quite sweet it's quite like a domestic story we have nonna and the two people looking after her and they are just kind of going about their day and there's lots of other stuff going on but nonna has no idea what's going on so they have a very limited worldview and a very naive way of viewing things but like they're not an annoying character in any way either. Like sometimes characters like that can be slightly irritating. She's not annoying. She's so cute. I love Nana so much. So I'm going to do some stuff. I'm going to play some Stardew Valley now to decompress. Then I'm going to have some dinner and then I'm going to um, read some more Nana later. And it's going to be real nice. Misa is furious that I'm not making her dinner. I've also just been watching our flag means death for the first time, and it's so much fun. I'm loving it. But Misa is very upset with me. She's glaring at me. <laughs> I've had a lovely evening relaxing on the sofa, playing Stardew Valley, and now I'm going to get back to reading None of the Ninth. I am currently on page 100, um, which means I think I'm about a quarter of the way through already. I'm loving it. I'm gonna read as much as I can before I fall asleep and then we'll update you in the morning. Morning everyone, I am just out on my little walk. I've uh, got some things, some chores around the house done this morning. And now I'm on a lovely walk, although it's just kind of started to rain, which is not ideal uh, because I'm just at the beginning of this walk. I continued reading None of the Night last night. I'm about a third of the way in now. Oh, I'm just loving it. It's got really like slow reveals and we don't actually know yet what's going on in there book really at all. I'm not mad at it like I just love spending time with these characters and I love Nona so I'm just like loving it. It's Nona not Nona. There's some parakeets flying around and landing in this tree. You can't see them but definitely adds a level of whimsy to my morning walk seeing these green parakeets flying around. It's also nice all these trees are like blossoming. Not that you can see on camera because it's like white blossom against white sky <laughs> but it's lovely i am currently listening to the wheel of time book number 11 the knife of dreams it's been a, a challenge just because it's so long though and also like some povs i hate um but i'm 45 percent through now but i'm currently listening to one of the povs that i hate i really don't like elaine I kind of hate elaine i'm not gonna lie elaine is my least favorite point of view character out of the women I believe like I know everyone hates Nynaeve but at least she does stuff <laughs> Elaine I just especially in the later books is so her POVs are so boring um so I'm just kind of waiting for her to say her stuff and move on but yeah I'm about 45% through which I'm pretty pleased with because these books are so long and I only have seven days left before I need to give it back to the library just visiting my duck friends you might be able to see some baby ducks. They're usually camped out over here. Or some baby geese, I mean, around here. This duck. <laughs> it's so funny. But I can't find the babies yet. This might be the mother honking away. Let me see if the babies are anywhere to be seen. I knew it. The honking one. <laughs> alerted me to the presence of the babies. <laughs> look how cute they look. I don't want to get too close to upset them. I come and visit them every day <laughs> and they are so cute. I love spring. 
Okay, I'll leave. This, uh, this mom is not happy. Bye, babies. I am pink in the face and I have pink stairs incoming. I ripped up all the carpet the other day off the stairs and now I'm painting the backboards and I'm gonna try and stain and kind of restore this wood a little bit. That's just to show you. This is how I've spent my day. This is the test step to do the, to do the stain. And I looked okay, so now I need to varnish and stain the rest, but I'm not gonna do that today. But I just wanted to show off and say, look at this. <laughs> I'm all pink in the face because <laughs> I've just been sitting here doing it for hours and hours. But I have been listening to um, A Wheel of Time and I'm almost finished actually. So these stairs have like helped me finish almost two books because I was reading the Women's Prize book before and then now I've been doing this. Really all I want to be doing is listening or reading um, Nona the Ninth because I'm so obsessed and also that book is finally kicking off like but I'm even more confused than before. We've got some answers for like some small things but then the rest of it is just very confusing. The confusing thing on this one is like whose side are we on? <laughs> who's the good guys? Who's the bad guys? That's honestly what I'm confused about with Nona the Ninth so far but I'm loving it still. It's so much fun but I'm also scared like I don't know how it's gonna end. I don't know how we're gonna get a happy ending for it and that's what makes me scared but I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm gonna carry on doing another second coat in a bit but then I might read more of Nona later and I will update you on my thoughts when I do. I did a 24 hour readathon last night and I finished Known of the Ninth. And I have done the 24 hour readathon in a whole separate video that will be up very soon. It has been such a fun journey. I have absolutely loved reading this book and five stars, <laughs> need I say, five stars, easy five. I loved it, I love Nona. I do still think that my favorite book so far has been the second book because just like the revelations in that like had me absolutely gobsmacked and I do love like, I love Nona, but I think I love Harrow as a character the most, maybe. I just love how bloody mean she is. <laughs> I don't know, I just love that she's so nasty. Whereas Nona is, like, adorable and so lovable. Like, you can't help but love Nona. Oh my god, it was such a good book. Anyone who's, like, on the fence about doing this series, like, you should so read it because it is amazing. It's so much fun. Today, I am actually just finishing off doing my stairs. I have been sanding them and painting them and staining the wood. It's been really fun. Should I show you what they look like? So the light is terrible and there's also lots of like white paint that's stained um, from the previous painting job. But I've been, I've painted all the back bits, whatever they're called. This kind of like plastery pink colour. This light is pretty yellow when I put it on. But it's kind of cute and pink and then I've been staining the pine and I'm going to varnish it as well. These aren't varnished. Those ones are. I basically was doing them in a row, doing two in a row, and then I trapped myself on the stairs and couldn't come down. <laughs> so then I was doing one, you know, taking one out <laughs> so I could still climb up and down the stairs. I'm going to finish off doing this today. It's going to be kind of fun. Maybe I'll show you what it looks like at the very end. I'm just getting my tools out. Oh, this is spoilers for the 24 hour readathon. <laughs> not showing you that. About to get to sanding, but my um, audiobook that I was listening to last time, The Wheel of Time, I managed to finish when I was doing the sanding and the staining last time. Um, and it was actually really good, <laughs> The Wheel of Time. People don't joke when they say it does get better again. It does get more pacey, it gets more exciting. I feel really in it and I feel like really motivated to finish off the series. And I'm, yeah, I'm really excited. I just finished uh, book 10 no no book 11 it's so fun listening to it while I was doing like a DIY because I could just like it was kind of like mindless jobs while I'm like listening to it and it like I don't know it was really fun and like a really good way to pass the time so I listened to hours and hours of that one and I ended up finishing it so I'm actually really excited to move on to the next Wheel of Time book which has not been the case up until now and the book that I am moving on to for today's DIY is going to be you can't spell tea without treason no <laughs> the other way around you can't spell treason without tea this is supposed to be a cozy fantasy and i've heard loads about it i think it was self-published or indie published and then now it's just been picked up for tr traditional publishing so i actually have the audiobook on my net galley and i've already been listening to some of it i was like I'm about a quarter of the way through it's cute it's cozy i'm so hit and miss with cozy stories to be honest but i've heard that this one is a little bit more to it there's like a bit more of a plot and a bit more like going on 
um, even though it's supposed to be still like quite cozy and low stakes. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna enjoy it more. So far, so good, I'm liking it. The concept of the story is basically there is this palace guard and she one day decides to run away from her job and cause she's like working for a very corrupt queen and she runs away with her girlfriend and they both go and open up a bookshop slash cafe in this small town but they have to kind of deal with things from their past because she's run away kind of committed treason by running away from the queen we'll see how it goes but i was in the mood for something cozy after reading the wheel of time which is weirdly kind of cozy but it's also very high stakes and then also nona which was so much fun but also like very like I don't know you really had to like pay attention a lot in that one like it was so so confusing but while i'm telling you about books let me just show you this is the other physical book i've just started started this last night to replace nona and it is the sunlit man by brandon sanderson so i'm really really excited to get to this one this is one of the secret project books that he did and the one that i have not got to yet so i have had such great luck with his other secret projects two of them were like my favorites of last year when i read them and so i'm really hoping this one is going to be the same i'm only where am i up to i was just reading more of it this morning i'm like 90 pages in really liking it it's a cosme novel um so it's set within his wider like universe and it is following characters that we know and kind of i think it's set in the future but i don't want to spoil anything and tell you who it's even about because that's like fun to discover but it's quite sci-fi leaning and i'm enjoying it but only 90 pages in so let's do some diy and i'll listen to more of can't spell treason without tea i know this looks very rough and ready but, <laughs> but i kind of like that in a weird way you should have seen these stairs before it's like they're not really they weren't really made for taking stain I've had to be pulling so many different nails and paints out and these flecks I can't get off, unfortunately. But I'm about to add some varnish to this um, and we'll see how good we can get them looking. Progress check. We are staining and varnishing. Maybe I'll show you the process that I've been doing for these last couple steps. But this is in no way a tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. I literally just make it up as I go along, try and fail and figure stuff out and then fix it later. <laughs> so this is my process for doing these stairs. Okay, so first we literally clean the step, make sure there is no loose debris or nails or staples or anything left over. Okay, and then scrape off any little paint splatters that we can. A lot of them have big chunks of paint, which is quite annoying. And then when I've got as much as I can of the paint off, I sand it with a rough grain and then a thinner, like a smaller one to try and get it looking smooth and nice. This is like before and after of cleaning and sorting out the step. And then now I'm going to stain it. This is the wood dye I've been using, American walnut. I don't know what that means. But I do two coats of it. Basically, I just slap it on and you have to kind of be quite quick because it dries quite quickly. But I do two coats anyway, so it smooths out and looks fine in the end. Here's the first coat of stain and then I do another coat of stain and then I do the whatever it's called, the varnish. There are some flecks that I can't get off, but they honestly look worse on camera than they do in real life. Okay, so they are not dry. <laughs> are also not finished. These need to be varnished at the bottom, so they will be nice and shinier. But we've lost the light and also I finished my audiobook, which was Can't Spell Treason Without Tea. So I'm finishing it there for the day. My review of the audiobook, which I listened to basically the entire thing today, I really enjoyed it. It was fun. It was what it set out to do. It was cute. It was cosy. It was sweet. It's very focused on a sapphic relationship and it's fun i don't think i think it sometimes struggled with balancing the high stakes with the cozy feelings and also some of the plot threads just like weren't tied up within the first book which kind of annoyed me because we did have plenty of time and so i feel like some of them i was like well don't introduce this whole like plot thread if you're not going to tie it up because there wasn't that much going on like they definitely could have tied it up tied it up but i liked it, it had quite um strong like mental health representation of like anxiety that kind of thing but I wouldn't like 
I wouldn't say run out and like, you need to read this immediately. If I wouldn't have been doing this job today, I would not have read it this quickly, but it was perfect for what I wanted, like this like very casual kind of listening. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you so much for spending this weekend slash week with me where I have been book shopping, book browsing, spending time with friends, reading really good books. I finished three books in this vlog. I did Known of the Ninth, the Wheel of Time, book number 11, and then Can't Smell Trees in the Night Tea. And that's exactly what I want to set out to do at the beginning of this vlog, is read some books just for fun, and also finish off some books I've been reading a while for a while, which was the Wheel of Time one. But thank you so much for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe, and watch all my other videos, and I will catch you soon with another vlog. Talk to you later, bye!